kind of have today. Sandy, <laughs> Jeff. Hey, everybody. It is Margaret, Texas Scout Treasures, and we're here with Merch Talk. We're all doing our own thing today. So we have a very special guest. We have Jay with us and Cal um, maybe somewhere. Or not. Mm -hmm. Callum, come and say hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's okay. We'll just talk about him. Hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How are you? So bad, thanks. Good, good, good. Oh, thanks for coming on, you guys. Right. Thanks for yeah. having us. Anytime. So we'll talk about our numbers and stuff, and then we can. Jump into why we have Jay and Kelly on the show. Is that me? I'm going to blame Chris because he's multiple broadcasting. No, 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 it's not me. I don't think so. I have my volume down. It shouldn't be me. Oh, is it echoing? And I was sounding like really robotic, I thought. That's normal. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> so, how's, how have things been, you guys? Go ahead. Uh, I guess I guess I'll start since Jeff is uh, lumberjacking. Um, actually, you know what? Slow, sales have been slow the last week, really slow. Um, I sold about uh, 192 shirts so far this month. And I I honestly surpassed last month's profits on the 12th of December. But ironically, after that is when the suppression and everything started to take hold. So sales have been slow. I've been doing like one or two a day. All my top shelling shirts haven't sold. Um, it seems to me like all the black shirts in sizes small through extra, extra large is gone. And I, all I got is like three X on most of my shirts now. Wow. Wow. How about you, Jeff? How are things? Things are great. Things are nifty. Um, no, no, well, during the freeze, when they announced the actual freeze, my sales took off. Um, I was doing 16 a day. And uh, I, I'm two away from breaking my all-time monthly record. But uh, as soon as they announced that they were slowly unfreezing people, that's when sales tanked for me. And from 16 a day, now to down to one or two a day. And uh, I only have 117 of 500 shirts visible. So I'm kind of bummed. But uh, it is what it is. So we move on. Yeah. I'm using the time to build up uh, all the other pods. Yeah. How about you guys? How's it going with Jay and Callum? Oh, this is good. Sweet. Very, very good. I don't, I don't do much merch, so I'll stay quiet for most of this. <laughs> <laughs> good, Fair yeah. Um, Figures-wise, this week I've done 492 shirts. That's amazing. Which, I don't know. I mean, We don't know what that is in comparison to anything. No, no but one I'm, over here does it, really. But... It's, it seems to have been consistent for me, even yeah. when they were hiding shirts and stuff. Yeah, my my three best sellers that are kind of like a, a themed three, so people would buy all three at once, They di I think they disappeared because they haven't sold for ages. But some of my other ones sort of took their place. So yeah. it's been all right, isn't You're it? Doing, it was average, it's like 70 shirts a day, roughly, at the minute, something like that, 60, 70, running on 16. Yeah, about 70. Which is, a, which is low for this time. In the last few days, isn't it? We're usually about 40 or 30 about now. Yeah, so I'm pleased. It's my yeah. first of Q4 doing that, so. That's very good. Okay, I'll talk about mine, and then we'll come back and, and, and tell your story. <laughs> so, yeah, mine have kind of gone down, too, kind of like what Jeff said. You know, when they announced the freeze, I was cool with it. All my numbers were, like, between 15 and 20 a day, and then when they started, like, unfreezing people, supposedly, um, or rolling that out, my sales are just like stair stepped down. And I just got some sales right before the show. I was at zero until just like 20 minutes ago or so. So that was, uh, in, it's been interesting, yeah. So anyway, that's cool. I'm still happy with that. I'm at how many for the month? For the month, I'm at 275 shirts. So it's still, I mean, I'm getting and making a nice profit this month. So I was nothing to sneeze at for sure, but. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like seventy dollars away from a thousand dollar month, but uh, yeah, that's seventy dollars is how I many? Twelve. That's like fifteen t-shirts, I think, right? I don't know. 
to five dollars. Yeah, and it, you know, it may be slowing down too because people may be worried that they're not going to get their shirts by Christmas. Or that's what I figured because today, yeah. yesterday was the last day for, or today the last day. For, today's the last day for priority, I think. Um, so, yeah. or Express, one of the two. And okay, so we've got some friends in the chat. Hey, everybody! Thanks for coming. Um, old to new treasures. Sorry, I can't say everybody today, but hello, hello. Nick is there, and oh, Zahir is there. Hey, Zahir. <laughs> Zahir, are you signing on two accounts? Because I see Dingo ate your baby, and I see your Zahir. <laughs> it works. Just give me two thumbs up while you're at it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I met you guys through actually Zahir and Nick's um, through their Facebook group, the Tat Chat, and then you were on Zahir's channel last week. Um, and I got a text from somebody, your message like, they're talking about you. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I better go see. <laughs> and um, yeah, so you guys have a really interesting story in your merch journey, and it's really short. Yeah. <laughs> we only uploaded my first shirt probably in July, um, and I just I uploaded that purely because I didn't want to lose my account, and I wasn't really ready to sort of upload the full 10 and so I left it a couple of months I had a few sales but nothing major and then in September I was like right it's time now to do it properly and I uploaded my first 10 over a week um, and yeah I think I was quite lucky with like the timings of tear ups because obviously I went up to fi I'm at 500 now and I did that quite quickly compared to some so I think it was probably just luck of the draw yeah and so you guys have a reselling. You guys were just reselling before, where you were both police officers and no, no, reselling. No, he wasn't. I was nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were. Sorry, I misunderstood. No, no. Nick, Nick was a police officer, and yeah, Jay was, so that's a similarity that's between those. Two. I've I've done all kinds of random things. Oh, okay, okay. None of them, <laughs> none of them policing, and none of them had a brilliant wage. <laughs> So, um, so you guys got started. Did you see like Michael Taylor or like some of the other UK guys talking about the merch stuff, and then you rolled it into it from there? And no, I I only saw you and your merch talk, and I was listening to Merch Minds. So only the American side of it. It was only when we did that chat with Zahir that I found out that there were people talking about it in the UK. Yeah, and you guys went like so, so from September, and so this is the thing, like my like wanting to encourage people that are starting out that are maybe on the 1025 tier like listening to you guys talk about it and your strategy and everything because a lot of people are feeling like they're hitting that brick wall and they just oh if you're on the lower tiers you just you don't have a chance you know and you guys just started and i think unless i got the numbers wrong i think in november you guys had said y'all made like four thousand or something in profits yeah was it, was it, it was three and a half yeah nearly four wasn't no, it, it was it was. I, I, I don't do it. Yet. So from Septem September, October, November, because like September, you know, it's just like, okay. That's incredible, too. It's mm. doable. Dollars or pounds? Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> You're on pounds over there, right? Not euro or. It still isn't bad. Pounds, Wait, is it? Sorry, what did you say? You're on pounds over there, not the Bitcoin or euros or <laughs> other making <laughs> money. Yeah, still on the pounds at the moment. So I think that's amazing. It just, I mean, it just goes to show that, you know, and I'm sure people are going to ask, if you guys have questions in the chat, um, throw them in there. Like, did you have, like, a design background or? Nothing like that at all, no. no Jay, Jay certainly does. Jay's, Jay's a bookworm. We did this on the other day. Jay's a really good researcher, which is where a lot of it, uh, we banged on about it in the last chat, the research. I was, the, I'm a more creative one generally, but I, I had a little bit of background in imaging from media studies at school and things so i sort of helped jay along with gimp in the beginning mm. and now he's way more I can do, so. but yeah no nothing like that i'm from a science background really so no design work or anything in the past so would you say like you put more effort into the, the researching of what's going to sell or the design and like making it look amazing not that you can't have both but yeah, no, I think most of my designs are quite basic. Um, I can't really do anything fancy. When I get stuck with something on GIMP, I'll just look up a YouTube video of how to do it. Um, but no, they, they're, 
they're not um when i started i was just doing text-based designs now i've got a little bit more creative but yeah no are most of your designs uh, UK theme based that would appeal more to you guys? No, no none of them because we haven't got a market over here to sell it to. It's all in the US. So we, <laughs> we've had, Jay's had to be really clever and dip into all of the um, markets and see what's all the phrases over there. Like we'll have, what's it, train, train spotting? What's yeah, I wanted to make train spotting t shirts about train spotting. But it's not train spotting in the US, it's rail, rail planning. planning. So we've had to learn all that. There might be some licensing it, issues with that too, with the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm like, I have to know the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so we've not had, no, obviously, if it comes to England, it'll be great because we've got there's loads of quintessentially British things that yeah. haven't got a t shirt made for them. And we'll have, a, we'll have an advantage then, hopefully. And mm -hmm. we'll see about that. We? But I know there are people who do sort of play to the UK side of things. Who yeah. who are British and use their sort of UK knowledge to mm. sell shirts? Well, because there's a lot of expats and stuff over here, mm -hmm. transplants and things. I mean, mm. it just I mean, yeah, yeah, like just no. I mean, just having to translate. It sounds weird. Like to translate if you're making a shirt with Christmas ornaments on it. Like my kids were doing a, it was like one of those like I spy things. Like find three three baubles with stars on it, but we don't call them baubles. So the kids are like, what what the <laughs> what do you mean bobbles? Like yeah. Christmas ornaments. Okay, fine Christmas ornaments. Yeah. So, Just, I mean, it is like, like a translation. Sorry, go on. Yeah, and I wanted to make a shirt that was for, like, grandparents. And here we usually call them nan and granddad, where you guys, you're, you're usually grandma and granddad. Is that or right? Grandpa, grandma. grandma. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, nan is not a very, like, my British granny, we called her granny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas granny over here would be like, oh, you old granny. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if she would like it. It would be more of a, not demeaning, but, you know, it would be a bit more of a, oh, granny. So I'm always <laughs> having to just kind of stop myself before I make design and look up, what's the most common word used for grandparents in the USA? Mm. And I just, yeah. I always do. Yeah, you you like get that. numbers based on that as well. You'll, that's where the nerdism comes in quite easy. She'll go, oh, 82% of people call their nan, nana. And then that would be what she'll use for the shirt for sure. Mm. Mima or something i don't know <laughs> but but yeah i mean that's kind of when i got started my thing was like i could i could keyword like i could keyword stuff to get my shirts found my my designs were not amazing so you feel like you're really strong with your like titles and keywords and descriptions and stuff like that yeah i think you have to kind of play to your advantages don't you and mine is isn't until i sort of educate myself a bit more it's not going to be design so i need to like you know, prioritize what I can. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking a lot today, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had a couple things. Uh, definitely font shirts. I usually tell everyone who starts out font shirts are the way to go, especially if you can get a good theme. They're very easy to do. Anyone can do it. So starting off with font shirts is definitely a, a good idea for anyone. And you can actually generate a pretty good income just by doing font shirts alone. Mm -hmm. Also, um, I've integrated the Union Jack in all kinds of different designs for myself, and those have done pretty well. So, you know, talking about the whole UK thing with that, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> it's making designs easier for yourself. If you've got 10 to make in a day, Jay will often make one that would be a theme that you can just adjust a word in it and make 10 yeah. designs. If, if it's going to be a quick day and she wants to get 10 designs on because we've got to go out. Yeah. Um, fortunately, because we're both full time, I've managed to take eBay off of Jay. So Jay's pretty much doing full time merch at the minute. So she can sit there and do the designs. And I'll, I've managed most of eBay. Jay's essentially a secretary of that, doing all the books and boring it. Am I? <laughs> no, not under, no, but then you're the good secretary. <laughs> and I just, I just do all the fun, uh, fun photography. And I, I actually quite love listing, and I know a lot of people don't like listing, whereas I'll list all day. Um, so Jay's got the time to do that many designs, but she'll maybe, like sports ones, if you've got a T-shirt for sports, you can change just the sport, and you've got 10 designs and stuff like that. I think, things. I mean, you guys probably know if you're on higher tiers, I'm going to need to do that more and more because I don't think I'm ever going to be able to do like 40 different designs a day. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, that's kind of what I have to do is take something and do a light version, a dark version. I mean, then you upload it on the multiple 
styles of shirts and then yeah and try to just tweak it that's the only way mm -hmm. i get 10 a day is by doing two listings for colors of each and then do the premium to two color or two listings and then a long sleeve now you know yeah i haven't actually done that i haven't done the whole dark shirts light shirts premiums i've just taken that one design and changed it a bit so i think when i am short on designs i think i should could maybe go back and put all my more successful ones on every option. Yeah, yeah. that worked for me for sure. Yeah. The freeze, um, a week for the freeze, I started doing just that. No new t-shirts, just long sleeves and premiums. Of starting with my bestseller down because I have an Excel sheet and just load them, and that helped very well because long seams, long sleeves were the sellers after the freeze started. Yeah. Somebody's asked a good question in the chat there. They've asked, do you have to keep up with the daily uploads? You don't have to. There's no if you don't upload ten, you don't it doesn't harm your account at all, does it? It's just why not have as many shirts as possible on there? Every shirt's a possible sale. That first, first upload is what counts, because if you don't do anything for sixty days, I think it is. Yeah. But after mm. you get the first one up, no. Nah. Although, Margaret, you have a theory, don't you, that the more active you are and the more you're uploading, the more sales you see. Yeah, that was a theory of mine. <laughs> I don't know if it's valid anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah, have you changed your mind? Maybe. You, I mean, that's just the thing you never can tell with, with Amazon. What's? It seemed like it was valid for a while, and then it just kind of quit. And I, yeah. Or, I, believe that, I believe that theory, too. I mean, every time... I don't upload and then I start to upload. I see a bunch of sales. It's probably nothing to it, but um, did we, did we talk about um, how the 19th came and went with no update? Uh, update? <laughs> we didn't. And that was something that they had said, like, okay, we'll get back to you on the night. What was the thing? What I thought they did. No, there was I mean, nothing there. There was nothing. It's, it's on the 12th. They said, we'll continue to pause through next week. Our next update will be by Tuesday, December wow. 19th. Now, now, Jay, you were talking before the show that your sales have still been steady. I find that incredible because pretty much the majority of everyone that's in merch has had extremely sl slow sales that I've talked to. So you, you've noticed pretty much no kind of bump. I mean, no kind of suppression. No, and honestly, if anything, they've probably gone up. Yeah, we wow. had a couple of quieter days, which were, well, 30 or so, 30 or 40 overnight. Because of how it works here, we usually go to bed with what we'd consider maybe a low number, and then we wake up and go on. So we get yeah. nice surprise every morning, hopefully. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if maybe I was just lucky in that uh, some that some of my best sellers stayed there, whereas other people they got hidden. I don't know. I wish I did know, <laughs> but and like I said to you before, where where all my shirts are under different brand names, it's not easy for me to just click and see how many of my shirts are visible. <laughs> I yeah. wish I could. <laughs> I had yeah. one brand that has like 50 something shirts in it and it and when you click on that brand it only shows like 20 now it's ridiculous. Um mm. did you guys say what tier you're at by any chance? 500. 500 okay I'm, I'm at the same uh 500. Well, I'll oh. back up a second. Um yeah. they did make an announcement. The one you're talking about was on the 12th saying they're going to continue with the pause and we'll let you know by the 19th. Yeah, I just saw that. On the 14th and said, starting today, we will slowly unfreeze people. Ah, That wasn't okay. on the 19th, it was by the 19th. Yeah. So it was semantics. Oh, oh well, yeah. we were just I hoping for better. 90, I have like 95, 98% of my shirts under one brand. And by Amazon, I, mean, I had a lot of removals due to 90 days, but according to uh, Amazon, I should have 470 shirts up. You click my brand, it only shows 117 right now. So mm. that's how. Nevada in the chat was saying, it makes me wonder if the freeze was geographic. I wonder if Michael, because <laughs> he's in the, the UK. British accounts on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're trying to soften y'all up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got accepted quite quickly into merch after I filled out the form like you do. And I wondered if maybe that was because of being been from the UK, time, but then yeah, I've signed been for a second well. account for me. Well, obviously, if Jay's one takes off, I can I can do designs for Jay, and we'll both move away from eBay. But um, if I can yeah. own account, so I have a theory. 
let's see if this proves. Okay. Are <laughs> Jeff's like, oh, oh crap, here we go. <laughs> All right. That Here's my theory. Help. Let's see if it proves to be true or not. Do you are the majority of your default shirts black or do you have lots of colors in your 500 designs? Uh, do you mean like what just, I'm selling? Do you have, are, are your listings just one color black or do you have all your listings pretty much are all colors? Uh, yeah, I, I always because I when I joined, I already knew about what happened last year with certain colors running out. Gotcha. I would always put black and maybe like a navy blue or something. But then I would choose a kind of a, one of the more obscure colors that's maybe not as in demand. Right. But still, I, still, if I was going for a black shirt and that was what I thought it would look best on, I would still choose as close to black as possible. I'd choose another dark color. See, I, have, I really think that they ran out of a lot of black sizes this season. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of the suppression for myself has been black shirts. I do a lot of black shirts and they don't work well, the designs with other colors. So I was thinking like my theory was, I think the reason why you guys have been successful is if your designs are geared towards colors, like different colors, they work well with different colors, then that would explain sort of, you know, why your sales have been steady because you're not running out of those, you know, popular colors. Like me, I have a lot of listings that are just black shirts. That's it. Mm -hmm. no other color. Okay. So that's my theory. Yeah, yeah I think that makes you'll, sense. You'll usually make a design, a dark design and a light version of that, so you can. Well, oh, not so much. No, no, well, some of you plainer ones. Oh, I'll be fine. Some <laughs> of you play. I've noticed that sometimes she'll make a, a white version of it and then a black version of it, so she can hit both yeah. light and dark shirt colors with the design, if possible. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I do. Uh, All my shirts have five colors on them. And a lot of my designs, I do a second listing with five more colors. So I don't think that theory holds up totally. It may be partial. <laughs> they, they do run out of black quicker because black is the most popular. Mm. Stefan in the, in the chat saying, colors never run out. Amazon hides black so people buy less shirts during the throttling. That's a theory too. Yeah. I think Amazon's just evil. <laughs> <laughs> they want money. Well, I, I've been thinking about it, and I don't know. I, I kind of want to do a class action lawsuit on them. I mean, I know it's their platform and all that, and I agree with that, mm -hmm. but they create this platform, and they encourage all these people on there, and you know, have these gurus telling people you can make so much money. So you have people, this is all they do. This is how they make their livelihood. And then to arbitrarily just shut them off, you're ruining people's businesses. You're ruining their, pretty, pretty important. their livelihood. Yeah. But but, Jay, angry. but Jay's doing so well, so it's not like they're everyone's getting affected by this. Like Jay's still doing well, so it's just like I hear what you're saying. Like I was having my best month ever, and all of a sudden, you know, it was it's down to a trickle. But you know, yeah. I, I'm not mad at Amazon because they honestly provide us with such an amazing service. I'm able to pay my bills and, and all that stuff. And it is supplemental income for me and my family. And I, I can't, I can't knock Amazon. I mean, they do what they need to do because they're a big business and they're number one in the world for a reason. And so, you know, yeah, it sucks if this is your livelihood, but you should be diversifying. You shouldn't put all your money yeah. and all your eggs in one basket. That's for yeah, Amazon. We did. We did. Like on our eBay wage at the minute this month because it was the first month where we hadn't made that much money isn't it mm. and come come the end of december we'll start getting what jay's been taking off from the money so that'll be a nice right. extra for our ebay stuff but you have yeah. those people moms out there that stay home all day and just research and do t-shirts it's their business and yeah. then you know, amazon see. saying oops sorry i i, I kind of think that's wrong i mean if we want to have congress pass laws on something that's something i think no i totally hear what you're saying jeff for sure there i mean I'm pissed, but you know, it's just, it is what it is, dude. Like yeah. I, I go on, I'd be positive. It is what it is, but well, maybe if they, um, if they managed it. my business now, mm. you know, I do eBay and I do my vinyl decals and between the three, you know, merch has, has gotten grown to over a third to mm. almost half my business. So it does yeah. hurt. That's it for us. Yeah. Mm. I'm not mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like more sales, but I can still be I better. I think they... it's like your your spouse. You can still yell at them and be pissed at them. You still love them down. That's true. You're gonna make up. It's more of a 
if they had more of a contractual obligation to you as a design submitter, like, like I know they're saying we'll give you a message and we'll tell you if they said, you know, yeah. like just as, as if you were employed, they'd have to be liable for telling you when yeah. you're going to be live again, how many shirts you are going to be able to do in advance and stuff like that. I think two people would be a little more or a little less upset by it. I mean, Amazon doesn't tell us what they're thinking. They don't let us mm. know what their business model is or what's coming. No, they don't have but to. It's just like, yeah, I mean, but I mean, I get like, well, they don't want to let their competition know either. So it's I'd like, love to be on a, be a fly on the wall to just right. know all the secrets of like how they choose what to hide and. Uh, well, that's, that's, that's French just being employed by Amazon. Mm. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know they have to a listener, not that they sit and watch our shows or anything, but you know they have to. There's they probably have their their moles in the groups. Yeah, there goes my sales now. I wouldn't drop down to zero listings. <laughs> it, it's it it's all uh, artificial intelligence <laughs> algorithms. <laughs> It says, oh, yeah. it's my Alexa in the other room is reporting back. There you go. <laughs> Bitcoin. Oh, there you go. Number two, Jeff. Yeah, I got to get him in there. <laughs> How many Bitcoin jabs are you are you supposed to get in there now? He's got two so far. I'm, I'm oh, keeping track. Got to keep working. <laughs> so he didn't respond to the video. What? You didn't okay. respond to the video I posted yesterday, so. Oh, I was I was in the middle of something. I haven't even I didn't even see that. I was like I saw the guy because he does those funny videos, like those hipster yeah. kind of funny videos, and I knew it, I didn't want to watch it. <laughs> you I'm not watch watching this. You want to watch it anyway? Back to lunch. <laughs> okay, Karen. Karen No Crafts just more says, "Hey Jay, thanks for this supporting. Wait, thanks for supporting, knowing, doing the right thing on the post. Oh wait." Okay, not oh, that was something not merch related. That was something, nah, that was something related. <laughs> I'm really thinking about doing merch though. I can't draw, but I would say, do it. They can't, I, draw, they can't draw anything. Yeah, I mean that's when I started. I was like, I am not a graphic designer. I'm not getting into this. But I kept Joe kept talking about it, and Young and Glenn, and I was like, fine, I'll do it. Yeah, I mean my mom is very sensitive, so is my dad, and I just I didn't get into the magazines, and we're still doing okay. Yeah, we can. You don't have you, she could she could learn and make your own images, but you haven't had to use your own images. I always lose at Pictionary, put it that way. Yeah. I am terrible. <laughs> I lose at Scrabble, so there's that. <laughs> yeah, I don't draw anything. I, I either do text based or I go buy graphics and just insert graphic with text or put two or three graphics together. Drawing yeah. won't affect anything at all. Yeah. yeah, you can totally yeah, totally do it. Yeah. There's lots of graphic sites out there. Mm. Oh yeah. That's, yeah, that's free ones as well. There's plenty of free ones, but you can do paid graphic sites as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we've got. I've got friends that are graphic designers. If we want, I can fling in a little bit of money for design. So we haven't we haven't had to do that yet. But if we got too big, we could just give him a little bit, and we he could do some extra designs to fill in that upload limit. There's tons yeah. of those uh, design shops where you just go mm -hmm. buy designs, and you didn't mention our, our sponsor today. Does that mean we did it? Yeah, design. Oh. Uh, Merch-designs.com <laughs> sponsors our show. We're kind of on a mini hiatus because of the freeze in the new year and stuff. Oh, then forget it. Don't mention them. I'm no, I'm going to mention them. But they, I mean, their, their designs, actually, from all, from my shirts that have been selling, one of the designs that I, I've got from them has been one that's been consistently selling every day. So, yeah. I saw, I saw, too. I saw a couple of them, but they're probably blocked now. Jay, I mean, I gotta, go on. I say, Jay, I got a question. How was that feeling getting that first four thousand dollar payday? That must have been amazing. What was that feeling? Well, we haven't because it's because it's in arrears. We won't be getting that until the end, end of January of this month. So we're having Wait, a lean Christmas. <laughs> so, so you're saying this month you're you're poised to do four K? No, they got their they we made four K, but they haven't got you know the payout comes at the end of the next month. Oh yes, got confused. We'll get four K at the end of December. And ah, so, so far, it's like a month. And so far through December, we're already up to 4K again. About so those are so those are November sales. You're waiting for the November, November. Sales, yeah. Well, yeah. The, gotcha. remittance, the remittance email came today. Oh, did it? Ooh, I'll ooh. have to check. <laughs> there we are. Funny. Funny. <laughs> I got mine this morning, so it should be uh, 10 days. It should be the 25th or 28th. Yeah, it's Ooh. exciting. But no, 4K payday, that's that's amazing. Yeah. That's kind of that's game changing for yeah, just kind of uploading some designs. How many do you guys have live right now? For uh, yeah. it's just over four hundred where I've lost some. Oh, you got the eighty percent you got the eighty percent going on, Jeff's uh, eighty percent. Yeah, but 
I'm worried that by the time I'm like unfrozen, that's going to be back down to under 400. I really don't want to miss a tear up because I've sold over 2,000 shirts now. I've sold nearly 2,500. So yeah, I don't yeah. want to miss a tear up. <laughs> get them in all in drafts. So as soon as the unfreeze is done, you can get them up quickly. Yeah. We've, we're nearly at six and a half K this month. Yes. Yeah, so which is just mind blowing. Wow. That's so exciting, you guys. Really I know. Exciting. I think where it's just really sort of taken off and we haven't had that first really big payday yet, it doesn't really feel real no, yet. We got a nice little add-on last month where it was just where Joe was just getting into it. And that so was a nice supplement. Yeah. You convert that when you get it, right? So yeah, it, it converts. Is it it a, pays, yeah, Amazon actually pays us. Hey, Amazon pays, pay us in pounds. So. You should get more than if it's dollars converted to pounds. I think it's like, what, 1.2 or something like that? Yeah, 70, 75p is a dollar at the moment. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, so much lower than 1.0. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought the... Oh, you know what? I'm thinking of the You're euro. The yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, if you buy Bitcoins, there'll be a lot more. <laughs> Number three. Um, yeah. <laughs> Everyone join Steam it today. <laughs> I got to put that in. Mm. That's so funny. But no, no, that's a, that's that's absolutely amazing. It's inspiring. I haven't done a 1,000 yet. Um, so... I can imagine a 4K payday is just, it's literally life changing. It's completely tipped our business up the other way. Like we've, we've been on it, we've been doing it for about a year full on as full time now. But that's now just a little supplement. It's, that's for me to stop being bored sitting on the couch really at the minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm at 925 for the month, you know, but figure the overlap from November, that's going to change. But yeah, I would like to make one, at least 1,000 a month. Yeah, yeah. And consistent. Christmas I'm just or... thinking, like, wow, I could really do that. Maybe. <laughs> well, we would, we're looking at that, aren't we? Now, 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 now we're thinking we could go, we could just travel anywhere yeah. and just have money coming in and then stop traveling. <laughs> as I mean, long I'm... as Amazon doesn't change any of their algorithms, you know, and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Oh, I know, because that's what I mean. It's so, we, we really don't know anything about what Amazon are planning. Yeah. And that's Am really I, hard to like. Unless we get a remote laptop and we access our remote laptop in England, <laughs> and then we send it from. <laughs> <We're so laughs> <happy. laughs> I'm with this right now, but um, how do you pay taxes on that? Do you pay U.S. tax rates on that to the U.S. and or do you have to pay taxes on it? We ha obviously yeah. haven't done a tax year since we started, but. We had to give our tax reference and everything the same as you guys do. And I think by giving that to show that we're registered as a business in the UK, then we then don't have to pay your taxes, I believe. And so we just pay the taxes when it comes around to it hmm. here. I think that's the case. And I'm sure there's somebody that I don't know anything about that. <laughs> but I mean, I'm sure there's somebody like I've tried to put like a third of it, kind of save it to the side. Yeah, yeah I wish I stopped <laughs> doing start that. Doing that. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I would a big chunk coming in, so you could just yeah. be like, okay. I wish I did that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I would definitely contact a like a tax lawyer or if you have a family member that's a CPA or something like that. The laws for you guys are probably crazy different. You know, I don't even know anything, but maybe you don't even have to pay because it's going into your, you know, you don't, you know, I don't know. Just, Which government wants their money. Not, Every government wants wondering. their money. They made the money in the UK, or not in the UK, but they made the money here. So I was mm -hmm. wondering if there was some type of tax you had to pay. Right. Here, as yeah. well as a tax over there. But That's a good but, question. <laughs> yeah. I like, think, I mean, if a corporation yeah. is in the UK, in the United States corporations UK, they have yeah. to pay the UK taxes, and any money they bring back. It might be a rule for the royal yeah. well, rather than a wage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look into that because a royalty might be considered. That's, gifts. that's true. That's true. You're not the one selling. You're getting paid a royalty. Oh. Uh, we're, not, we're not business selling it. We're just a uh, service, technically. Yeah, I don't know. I need to look into that. Mm. I think my understanding was that we would only have to pay UK taxes. And there I have been so. some. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, James in the chat is saying we have W eight, and it, guys, we are not tax people. So just this is all. Yep. <laughs> this is all our opinions. We're not. Yeah. This is legal advice or tax advice. <laughs> He's saying um, we have a W eight B E N form under a mutual tax agreement, so we declare and pay taxes here in the UK. There you go. 
Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Th there's a couple other questions and things that have come up, but um, I'm going to jump ahead to one of them. Do you, have you done any kind of like social marketing or ads to get these big numbers? Not, not so far. Have we, we haven't really, done really, anything. Uh, haven't touched Facebook. Haven't or touched Pinterest or no, no, nothing. No Instagram. That's amazing. Yeah, I think you're doing fine. Just keep doing what you're doing. If something changes, then you can think about, you know, doing the different premiums, long sleeves. You know, what you're doing right now is working. A lot of people would say, oh, scale, 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 scale. But for me, in my own personal opinion, if it's working, it's working. As, start, as soon as it stops to work, then that's when you kind of want to um, change your business. That's my opinion. As well, yeah, we don't want Jay doing – we want to be able to enjoy the money for one thing if we are getting the money. There's no point sitting indoors doing designs with it, you know, doing anything with it that's why we maybe don't want to scale too much and to go traveling because we've got to have time to do what you're doing with this money you're earning i suppose i don't feel like a job <laughs> yeah no job we just don't do this <laughs> you jump up to one thousand or two thousand tier you'll have so many slots there's no reason not to do premium in long sleeves exactly. as well exactly because i found i mean one of my best sellers it could be because of the freeze of the normal shirts but it took off on long sleeve. I've been, I've sold you know thirty of them on long sleeve this month. So oh, wow. we uh, haven't done many long sleeves, have we? I don't know. Have we? No. <laughs> <laughs> I sold a I sold a ton during this whole throttling. So I mean, I'm glad that I listed them when I did. I took all my best sellers and I put them on uh, mm -hmm. long sleeves and premiums, and they've been selling through this throttling. So it's been a good idea. <laughs> hoodies would be mega if they do hoodies. Absolutely. Now I'm looking at like, were these, they are, they're gone. Dang it. I was, like, I was looking at my pretty merch where it shows like the top unit uh, sold. And I was like, there's a particular cat shirt that's been selling. I was like, oh, I haven't seen that one sell lately. And that I, was like my top sold. And I just clicked on it and clicked on the brand name. Zero. There are no products matching the search. I almost downloaded pretty merch. Jeff almost got me, but I hovered over the link and I just, I couldn't click the button. I just couldn't do it. No, I don't know, man. Like, I, I just, I can't. The thing where it says it changes and modifies your Amazon accounts, accounts with an S, it just and then it boosts your browsing history. It just scares me, man. Like, I don't know. Right. Everyone loves it. I mean, go yeah. ahead, do it. You know what? Maybe they're doing. Here's another speculation. Sure. I'm, I clicked on one of my shirts. It was like a hunting shirt, and I clicked on the brand name. You know, and it's a pretty generic hunting brand name. So there's other people posting under that my shirt's not there of course but maybe what they're doing is giving people a chance that are not successful maybe they're like okay you've sold one years gets to go and now people that are complaining that their shirts aren't selling they get a chance they get a fighting chance that was my theory is the people that are on the longest are getting hurt the most because i've been there from day one and i'm still you've been on almost day one margaret so Maybe they're just like, we just can't make you all happy. Fine. <laughs> Everyone say hello to Mango. Mango's in the house. Mango's getting fur everywhere. <laughs> so um, with the freezing thing, you guys haven't branched off to other pods? I've got a handful of my designs on Etsy. Um, not as many as I should have. I was meant to be doing, that's what I was meant to be doing while we were frozen. Yeah, but I we've been cleaning done. the house because all of our family's coming out. Christmas, <laughs> so we're making it look like we don't actually live here. Yeah. I haven't been putting very much on Etsy either. I mean, since the freeze, I just felt like, yay, I get to like take a break for a little bit. Yeah, and honestly, the amount of money that we know is coming in isn't, it, it, uh, it doesn't sound big headed, but it's not that motivating. We're not <laughs> scrabbling around for money. And oh, we've got to do something. You can actually sit down for a few days. And yeah, not worry yeah. about work, which is what was, is lovely about it taking off. Is that uh, I, I said on the chat, which is here, I'll, we haven't got to think about rent for months if we don't want to. Not so we're going to sit back and help them, but we haven't got to worry about it. Yeah, That's I had nice. it public a couple of weeks ago and when the freeze started. I, I didn't like him at first. I haven't sold anything yet, but I've been adding to T Public and eBay. And yeah, I mentioned in our chat, it's like eBay is doing better on T-shirts than merch is doing this week. <laughs> and I'm probably going to start Etsy this week or next week. Etsy's so easy, too. I definitely suggest that. No, I don't suggest anyone to go on Etsy, actually. <laughs> don't flood the market. In <laughs> don't go there. Don't do that. And if you guys are interested, down in the comment, down in the description box, there's 
Printful, there's Jeff's affiliate link for Printful to sign up. There's 40 free listings, my link for 40 free listings down there. So do it. Do it. Yeah, do it. Chris, start loading more. I should. No, that's, I told you guys, 2018 is going to be crazy for me. I'm moving my eBay business into more merch and Printful focus. So, yeah, I'm on. Okay. Nice run off. <laughs> I'm going to look in the chat because I know there were lots of comments the other, and questions. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I was thinking about is um, obviously I know Jay uses lots of tools as a newcomer and she's learned to use them mainly from you guys and obviously researching as she does. And that's been invaluable to Jay doing better. So that might be a good thing to chat about for people that are interested in it. Like um, you've got a beautiful, is it beautiful merch? Pretty merch? <laughs> I don't know. Sexy merch? Beautiful whatever it's called. Sexy I merch. Know. I'm going to make that <laughs> sexy <laughs> merch. <laughs> They were just talking about. Oh, uh, as a pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that. I kind of like that. Like they're, they're all talk a really good free for analyzing your sales or merch and form and things like that, isn't it? They're, mm -hmm. they're all stupidly helpful. I almost don't need to do my spreadsheet anymore, except for my spreadsheet, I actually track every t shirt design so I know how many sales each design has, how much I paid to make that design. So. I know if it's paying off or not, but pretty merch does everything but that. You know, you can go all time and see how many shirts you've sold. So it's pretty I guess uh, you noise when you sell something, so you get to oh another one. Yeah, but you don't like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Ching. Yeah, that's nice. I love that during the when I was doing sixteen a day, I changed the tone to the Mario coin. Yeah, I'll love that. Oh, you can change it. I'll change it back. I love that. I thought I was playing Mario Brothers again, going ding, ding, ding every hour. <laughs> That's yeah, just when you could do the actual job on a desk or something, when you press some keys, every now and then it went ding, and you've been playing, oh, that's better. <laughs> now it's, well, you don't get that in a normal job, really, so it's quite nice doing that. I'm at zero still. You're at zero still for today? Yeah. Aw. Oh, I wanted to show everybody. I just looked over and saw this. I forgot. Jeff made me a... A mug with the decal says Margaret's Merch Juice. That is Ooh. awesome. Yeah. So you guys could get your own from Jeff's oh. Oh, Cost Frog, right? It's Can you, you, get me one? Can you be here by Christmas? Do the eBay messages at the minute. Can you get it? No. <laughs> That's Margaret's awesome. Juice. Yeah, I'm excited about this. So <laughs> I'll hand wash it. Don't worry. <laughs> and, and as a side note, I'd like to say anyone who wants vinyl decals or anything, hit up Jeff. He's professional. I've ordered vinyl decals from him before, and this is a little plug for Jeff. Definitely hit Jeff up. He does an amazing job, you know, prompt shipping, really fast turnaround. So definitely check him out. Yeah, I was trying to put you off. Well, I'm going to put you over like WWF, man. Thank you. What? This just got homoerotic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Maybe I just went there. I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah. And it's yeah. usually us. It's usually us that have that go sideways on everything. But <laughs> welcome to the club, Margaret. You're, I'm just like you're putting them over what your lap. It's that lack of food. It's terminology. <laughs> it's it's weird wrestling terminology. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Then okay. Mm -hmm. I'm on, right on track then. I guess. <laughs> but wasn't that Nick was saying he does a lot of wrestling shirts? He'll probably know what that means. Anyway, okay. AJ Addicts uh, was asking anyone list on eBay, and yes, I list on eBay, but I don't use Merch as my dropshipper. I use Printful, and I was kind of, I'm kind of panicking today because I put all my T-shirts on five-day handling, and with the holidays, they are t Printful's handling time. They say is two to seven days, and they don't have a seven-day option on eBay, and I should have used ten days because today's the fifth day on two shirts, and they're still waiting for fulfillment, so I'm kind of panicking. I don't want that ding, but otherwise they are really good on top of it. And if you use ShipStation as the go-between between between the two, it automates it, and it it works out real well. The only problem is just you have to sync the first sale of each shirt variation or mug or whatever once it comes in. Once it's synced, though, then you're fine for sales two plus. Is that for every size? Yeah, you have to sync every variation. Oh, I do. I do two types of listings. I do a Bella canvas, which I'll do five sizes with three colors, 
And yeah, you have to sync every different variation as it comes in, sold. And then I offer the Gildan shirt because it's a lot cheaper in black only in five sizes. Because the Gildan shirt's only eight bucks. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people on the forums complain about Bella Canvas ratings. Did you guys see that? Like there's a lot of people saying they're getting one stars because of the size issues or something. Have you guys I, saw that? I didn't see Yeah, I bought, I bought Bella Canvas from them. I've had no problems. Okay. I, I like it's it's their premium shirt and it's yeah nice. I'm cheap I use the anvils <laughs> they have anvils still uh whatever the low whatever the low one is the low tier one I'm pretty full well Gild I think Gildan's lowest is like eight forty five or eight ninety five for they only come in black white and navy oh so it is Gildan I thought it was anvil for some reason that's the merch right yeah. These PODs, man, they got my brain on the mashed potatoes. Hey, speaking of mashed potatoes, guys, if you're enjoying this video, please click the like button and subscribe to Margaret's channel. You will not regret it. Why That's is that like mashed potatoes? Oh, it's a it's a video I did. It's like smash the mashed potato button. Just smash I can't it. eat mashed potatoes. I'm sorry, Joe. Oh Neither can Margaret. Oh man. I'm good till tomorrow morning. I can't you eat have the skin for five days before. What? I think you can't. You're not supposed to eat skin of the potatoes for five days before. That was not in my notes. No, it's <laughs> that was not in my show notes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I love they're like what? They're no confused. Sorry, this is American <laughs> rubbish. Rubbish. I'm to learn this. I'll put it in a t-shirt by It's fine. <laughs> I've been trying to think of a colonoscopy t-shirt, and I really can't. <laughs> think of one I want to do. Jeff and I just randomly both said, "This is TMI." Colon health. We're both scheduled our colonoscopy the same week. We can go in and hold hands. Hey, <laughs> we got Joe in the chat. Merch University. Oh. Speaking of Merch University, go and join our Facebook group. It's not mine, but it's Joe's and Margaret's. This guy on a toilet seat saying colon prep or something? I don't know. <laughs> oh Joe, we hope you're feeling better. Joe's not feeling Joe's not feeling well today. Not for the same reasons that Jeff is not feeling well, but he's having my beans for us. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no wacky Wi-Fi or ghost children for everyone today. I'm very sorry. We apologize. American Hustle, uh, Printful. I haven't had a problem with Printful running out of stock because I do it on my at least on the WooCommerce side. It, they automatically update your listings on WooCommerce if they run out of stock or something. And they'll bring it back if when the stock comes back in. But you can also set an alternative product. So when they do run out of stock, they'll use the alternative T-shirt. And you don't run out that way. You might just eat a little coinage or... Chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> I caught another one. I just read Whoa. The <laughs> I caught another one. Hi. You just run wild in here. Yeah. Okay, you're going. You're done. Yeah. <laughs> smash the cat button. Tip your waitress. Oh no, I can't hear anything. You there? So so Jay, do you have you guys noticed any of your listings being suppressed? Like if you guys look and see if anything has been suppressed on your end? As far uh, as I clicked, yeah, I clicked a few of my oops. A oh, few wait. of my shirts just to to see and I noticed a couple they were but they were both not selling great to start with um but where like I said all my shirts are under all different brands it would take me ages to go through I'm assuming I mean I have three top sellers that I haven't actually checked whether they've been suppressed or not but they must have been because they went from selling like 20 a day each almost to nothing for the past couple of weeks so yeah what was, was that point. what was that brand name I'll go check it out <laughs> uh, now I'm really excited for you guys. I, I really loved hearing your story. I, I really liked seeing in the chat chat your um, your numbers and things like that. It just it's awesome. Yay, Nick! What? What did Nick say? He was just telling me he went with uh, WordPress instead of Shopify. Oh, okay. <laughs> Much better in the long run. Yeah, Joe, I'm ready for the freeze to be over too, man. I, I think 2018 should be should be good, but um, I like Jay was saying, I have I have shirts that that sell really well too that have just they don't sell anymore. It's crazy, actually. 
Mm. Christmas is all encompassing as well, though. So hopefully, once that's over, that's true. Some well, of the other last year, not... December last year, I had 182 shirts, and that was mostly one shirt. But in January, it dropped down to 73. I guess I can't really use that as an indice because, like I said, most of that 182 is one shirt, and they pulled the shirt on December 31st. So that could account for that drop too. And then uh, February and March were down to 46. So yeah, yeah I'm sitting here clicking through, like, because uh, I really I don't I don't want to go look because I don't want to like have a grumpy attitude about it. But I'm clicking through all of my like pretty much it'll say top units sold. So I'm clicking on all of them and then clicking on the, the brand name. Nothing. Your search did not match any products. Your search did not match any products. Like, what? Yeah. Oh, well. But is the brand – because some of those I've looked at, some of my shirts, that the ranking's gone because they're hiding it and everything. Uh -huh. But it's still there. I can still click the shirt from my uh, uh, manage tab. Yeah. See the shirt there, and I can still buy it. It's just not available in search or anything. So if you're social media, mediaizing, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> socializing your shirts, they can still come over from Pinterest or whatever and buy the shirt. And find it, yeah. Oh, that's true. So Maybe I need been, to be honest. I've been tweeting some of my hidden shirts. See, because I see it when I click on the shirt, my link, but then when I click on the brand name. Does it still have the, uh, you know, the colors there and the buy button, add to cart or yeah, I see it there. Yeah. Oh, if people randomly stumble upon it or from your social links, they can still buy it. So if they're searching through Google or searching on uh, Pinterest. Okay. Well, I'm going to start printing every day. Yeah, okay. you could you could advertise on social media those ones as well, can you? If the link's yeah. still live. Yeah. 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 And if you're doing that, make sure are you guys uh, associates? Affiliates? Affiliates, yes, no. I am. Oh, wait. No. I um, go, do you have a website or blog? No. No? Nothing. Go, website or blog. Very boring. <laughs> and then go sign up for Amazon Affiliates and then social share all your shirts using the affiliate bar. They have a link for Facebook and Twitter. And that way, if people buy through those links, you get another 7%. I, I want to say something real quick. Um, to everyone out there, who's been watching all these videos about AMS and advertising and hustle, 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 look, Jay has a successful business without going crazy with advertising, without even having a social media presence. It's it's really inspiring and motiva motivating for yeah. sure. I agree. I paid advertising. <laughs> I don't like doing that. You know, I do it I want to be a fly on the wall just when she's researching, like what's going through her mind when well, she's it's, researching. It's looking, you're not doing bad enough. If you're looking at the screen, she does that, but she looks like she wants to kill it. <laughs> research face. She's gonna slay. <laughs> Maybe it's all in the expression. <laughs> and I, I'll, say, I'll, say, I'll say something about five times. You better. She's well uh -huh. into it. It's into a okay. big zone. Hey, uh, Jay slays. That like totally uh, rhymes. You should. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to start doing some YouTube videos of my own. Maybe yeah. I should, that's why I should call the channel. <laughs> Jay Slays. Yeah. There you I'll go. Keep it broad. Because then you can put whatever on it. You know? No, yeah. that would be awesome. I mean, I think a lot of people would get inspired by it, you know, motivated. I would. It just seems funny because you we spend all our time watching other people's YouTube and you've learned all of your stuff from, from, you, from guys. you guys, really. <laughs> And we spent the whole of the years chatting, and we learned everything from you guys as well. So it seems a bit funny to suddenly start doing videos and I don't know, not stealing thunder or anything, but that just seems a bit odd. Yeah. Just, yeah, to, let you, just yeah. to let you guys know, jslays.com is available on GoDaddy, so go get it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, no, I I think everybody has their. When I started YouTube videos, there weren't quite as many um, reseller people out there doing it but I think everybody has their own voice and and while I may be making videos about making shirts I know I can be a super annoying and so people may not want to watch me and they no, might like know. watching Jeff better you know it's just, everybody's got personalities that they are more Come attractive on, to. Margaret, you're too hard on yourself you're actually one of the number one merch youtubers like mm -hmm. seriously that's how we found you <laughs> yeah oh, okay I just want to <laughs> But no, I think I think go for it. I mean, I always encourage people if you're on the if you're thinking about it, do it. I mean, because the first one's gonna be the hardest for sure. 
Yeah, I don't and know. people are going to say mean things, but somebody's like going to identify with you. Sorry, I keep cutting, cutting over you. Go on. No, no, he well. does this I do all the time. time. <laughs> all day. I don't. You don't listen to anything. I do it too, so I hear you. I, I interrupt all the time, and my my brain is always like this too. So I, 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 I like live chat, so because you get to bounce off each other. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't be used to sitting and talking at a camera. I imagine I'd get used to it, but I yeah, like yeah. people that I'd do live chats over pre-recorded if I did that. Mm. If you look back at my first videos, I'm just like, hey guys, it's fun. Yeah. Like it's super awkward, but you do get used to talking to yourself. Although on the flip side, if I haven't got anyone watching the live video, then I can't bounce off anyone. Anymore. <laughs> that would be awkward. <laughs> Just me talking to the camera, I suppose. Nineteenth Vintage says, "I like how Margaret is zero drama." I have to share something I put on my uh, Instagram. Hang on, if I can get it. And the thing is, you shouldn't really, you know. There you go. Drama Shield, activate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's the other one? There's one more. Sorry, because it's funny. Here you go. Hey, train wreck. This isn't your station. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I okay. love the I love the shield one. And no, I mean, the thing is like about drama, the thing is it, drama is all the time, but is you shouldn't really put light to it because then you give it power. You know what I mean? And I think that's what you do really well is you don't highlight the drama and that just, that just helps throughout the day. Yeah. It's there. It's there. It just. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to answer a question for Bernard that some other people might be interested in. Um, <laughs> He I was love the thing one. I mean, the thing is, like, about... Here yeah, comes Joe. Hey, Joe. But Bernard was asked, saying that Teespring stole his exact design. Um, if it is an exact design, it wasn't Teespring. It was a person on Teespring. But go on to Google and Google Teespring DMCA, and you'll get the link to their copyright notice page. And you just fill out that form, and... If it's a true theft, they'll have it removed. We got two J's now in the house. Oh. Oh, is one of them working though? Yeah, one of them was working. Okay, that's fine. This was like Joe last week. That's all that Joe. matters. <laughs> At least one of them works. That's fine. <laughs> hey Joe, can you can you say something? Joe is sick, so don't everybody, you know, wash your hands after this, but <laughs> You there, Joe? <laughs> you just like there, like. I'm here. How are you feeling? Way better. Good. You're hiding though. You don't have audio or video. Actually, yeah, I turned. Uh, oh. Dang. What? All right, everybody. <laughs> okay, here's your chance to break out your Joe decoder ring because Joe is speaking in code right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dial it nine, and you'll be able to understand what exactly he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is creepy, Joe. I think he's actually at McDonald's. Yeah. Or it's McDonald's ghost children calling us, pretending to be Joe. Exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. 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 You were a little robotized there, Joe. You're good now, man. How are your numbers, dude? There's uh, they're at, I have like uh, 233 sales this month so far. That's really good. Yeah, it's been pretty good this month. So the highest I've ever been pretty good. So I'm excited about it. So in any sale I can get. I just realized <laughs> those two made more money in one month than I've made in my past two years. Yeah, it's inspiring, dude. I don't know if it's inspiring or... Are you happy for them? I'm very happy for them. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to leave our Lucky Clown Rapid Up parcels for eBay. She's on you the want to I gotta concentrate on merch a little bit. Because I was just looking at my all-time sales, the pre-merch, and royalty it says 3000 That can't be right. 30000 No. Oh, no. Okay, I take that back. I've made $8,000 then. So I have done... I take that back. But still, it is still four thousand four thousand in one month. It's still well after this after December, then they will have out have surpassed you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then you could be insulted all over again, Jeff. <laughs> when we look at uh, what uh, I wasn't I wasn't insulted. Please don't take it out. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 we know, we know. You have Yong, uh, what's the other one? <laughs> I get them mixed. Young, um, Glenn. Glenn. There, they, they talk about like these 
astronomical numbers daily and I, you know, there's, I don't know what they're doing, but I, I can never do that. And, you know, like you said, these two have done it without social media and without advertisement. And that AMS crap is great. And I just have to figure a way to, I, I haven't been all in to merch yet because you know, I have my eBay side and I have my vinyl decal side and those take up time. Now I, I don't source as much as I used to, but I still go out on weekends and source. I still have to list and I still have to cut all the decals and the stuff that come in. So that takes time away from doing merch. Well, just, you know, too, we didn't really talk about this is that they don't use Adobe at all, right? Y'all use pretty much all free programs. Yeah, it's just GIMP to use, isn't it? Yeah, yeah you haven't got to put any money. We haven't put any money into it, Merch. That's so awesome. Oh, oh no, Mer we use oh, Merch Informer. We use Merch Informer, but um, other than that, it's just our own connection, which is... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and that's how I started, too. I mean, now I start paying for... I pay for some things, but when I first started, it was like, whatever I can do for free. Ooh. Yeah, I just want to... I, I got to refocus more, like, like uh, Bitcoin here says, <laughs> we have to... You know, refocus and make a goal for that because uh, I know I know on every show we used to talk about I've never really maxed out my listings when I had ten or when I especially when I had twenty I never really maxed them out I've only maxed them out maybe a handful of days ever. Well, you got to go with what works. So that's what my whole game plan was. I, I see that merch is working for me. I know that I can scale Etsy very easily because I have a well-established Etsy store. So, you know, I see what's working for me. So I'm going to put less time in eBay, less time in Amazon, and more time in merch. So definitely for sure. I think we're yeah. lucky. Again, one of our luckiest things is that I even, I even fell into this full time, didn't I? I was meant to transfer to another job with the company I was working with in the UK anyway. And that transfer fell through, and we just thought, oh, we'll have a go. Us both being full time, and if we run out of money, I'll, I'll go and get another job. You carry on with eBay, and it's turned into the, like we said at the beginning, I now run all of eBay, mm -hmm. and Jay is full time merch. So where she's got the full time to do it, that's been a boot. Yeah, it, it kind of reflects looking at the chart because um, I closed my photography business down in, well, officially in July. I I my lease was up. But I, I actually closed it a few months earlier, stopped doing photos, and I had more time, and I did more time in merch. And June, I was at, was it June? May, I was at 77 sales, and then from June, it jumped to 122, and it kept on going up from there. So, it's yeah, it's just a lot of time and throwing as many shirts up there as you can. <clears throat> and Al's attic in the in the chat said I had to pay for make merch the other day to get me started. GIMP was making me frustrated. I need to do some more videos on other things that I because I've started using Illustrator, but I need to go back and do some more of like like PicMonkey and other sites. And I'm just gonna say, you know, shout out for make merch that all of my it is a paid site, but all of my sales from Etsy have been make merch designs. My top three top two top, top units sold on pretty merch. Are make merch designs so I mean I make you you know you can make your money back if you yeah anyway I like it the end I've always been a Photoshop Illustrator person since I've been in photography for 10 years I've yeah had. I mean for me it was like super intimidating because I'm you know illustrate Adobe products can be very intimidating but you love it now right well now because yeah. I can do mashups yeah <laughs> just like being Frankenstein dr. Frankenstein I think I mean it's it's forty or fifty dollars a month, and you get all the Adobe products. Yeah, that's. I, I don't know what it is for Illustrator alone, or if, I don't know if you can do Illustrator alone. I got I got the whole suite just in case, even yeah. though I don't use it all. Um, it's a tax write off. So if you don't want to do Illustrator, you can do Photoshop, and Photoshop there is a lower package. I think it's nine dollars a month or fifteen dollars a month, and it includes Photoshop and Lightroom only. But yeah. I personally have grown to like. Uh, Illustrator because I'm vector based. Yeah, it's the way to go to be to be professional. To be honest, is Illustrator size for anything. In case you want to make a billboard someday, you can take an old graphic and make a billboard. I'm gonna do that. Okay, we better call it because we're past the hour and Jay and <laughs> Jay and Callum keep having technical things. Oh. I don't know what's going on. We've got three of us in here now. Every time it <laughs> out, there's an extra one of us, and we log back in. <laughs> you can do AI only for 19 a month, and you should have my affiliate link below. It, it's there. It's there. 
Yeah. Jeez, Jeff. I haven't even <laughs> I haven't even shielded my shirt yet. It, it's it, it actually Adobe Affiliate is a pain in the butt. I still haven't collected the money yet because they don't pay you directly. You have to sign up for a Payoneer, and I've si I haven't completed my Payoneer sign up yet, and it's just a pain in the butt. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jay and Callum, for coming and talking about your journey. It's been really great talking to you guys. I'm so glad to have got to gotten to meet you. Thank you thank for you having us. Well, yeah. yeah, we've been yeah. watching for so long. It's weird to be actually talking to you guys. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. If you and if you guys out there are watching and you've got any comments or if you've got any success stories, share them and definitely share them in Merch University so we can can grab you and bring you on. I'm just you. glad they have Christmas in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what they have in other countries. This is true. We don't have Thanksgiving. Yes. No. I'm we're not, sure we're not, it's we're not thankful over here. We, we might have <laughs> England. You did get Black Friday from us, though, right? Yeah. We, that's yeah, so that's going to make the last five years, hasn't it? Really? Yeah. It's only just, and now we're moaning about that as well. Now everyone moans about Black Friday as well. Now, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving will come. We'll send you turkeys. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just want to say, Jay and Callum, thank you for coming on the show. We really appreciate it. I'm super inspired by your guys' story, and it is amazing. And I'm, I, I'm very, very, very happy for you guys, and I hope you continue to have amazing merch success. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Ditto. <laughs> thank you, guys. I'm going to have to double down in January. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, you guys, and we'll. I guess we'll be back next week. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And we'll hopefully have new updates and things to talk yeah, about. It'll be unfrozen. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Post Christmas. Post Christmas. Do you think so? No, I don't think so. Not yet. No, it didn't happen until January last year, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Somebody uh, who's asking, what happens if we go past the hour? My kids don't get their education. We're, I started homeschooling, so we've got to go build igloos out of marshmallows now. Got to go. Fun. <laughs> so, don't yeah. Even. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, we'll see you guys later. See you later. Bye. 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 Thanks. <laughs>